On this week's boiler tip, we're going to talk a little bit about conductivity. Water treatment and boilers go hand in hand. Your boiler is not going to last without water treatment. And conductivity plays an important role in maintaining your boiler. Um, there are lots of impacts of poor conductivity control, which we'll discuss. Um, but first, I just want to take a look at some of the components you may see on a boiler pertaining to conductivity control. Um, one is bottom blowdown. So this is a flash steam generator and it's got a bottom blowdown on it. Bottom blowdown is one way that we can control conductivity, but to be the most effective and efficient, an automated system is optimal. Um, it's not mandatory. We could just use a needle valve and take samples and make adjustments, but a system like this will take samples automatically at intervals and it will adjust the conductivity accordingly. So if we're going to control conductivity on a boiler, the first thing we need to do is measure it um, so we know the value of the conductivity in the boiler. And the unit we often use for that is micro siemens. Um, it's a resistance unit and basically the more dissolved solids we have in the boiler, the higher the conductivity will be. So a simple tester uh, can tell us what our conductivity is in the boiler or incoming water. And so if I read this, this is a freshwater sample out of our softener. Conductivity is about 400. So if we've got incoming water to our system at 400 micro siemens, our feed tank is not gonna be lower than that if we've got 100% makeup on our water. We'll get a little bit more into that. That water is pumped into the boiler. So when we initially fill a boiler, we're gonna have that 400 micro siemens of conductivity. Is that too high? Is it too low? Well, we really can't get any lower than that uh, with this feed water, um, and it is on the low end. Um, what's the issue with low conductivity? Um, Nothing initially, um, it's just that we expect it to rise. Mm -hmm.